Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist by Destiny. Today we'll see an interesting video in which we'll try to produce silver. So, in this experiment we are going uh, to use uh, a spoon which is covered uh, in silver and we are going to try to extract it. Oh, ok, let's see. The procedure for the experiment uh, consists uh, in uh, preparing uh, a solution uh, which is composed of 50 ml of concentrated nitric acid uh, and 50 ml of water. After that uh, we are going uh, to put our spoon in it uh, and let it react uh, until it's finished. We will notice that it doesn't uh, react immediately, so we are going to add some concentrated nitric acid. After that uh, we are going uh, uh, to, after everything is dissolved, uh, we are going to add the same amount of water to the solution uh, and we are going to filter it. Uh, after that we're going to put a piece of copper in it uh, and uh, we will see a uh, uh, dark powder precipitating. This will be our silver, uh, which we are later going to collect uh, for, for filtration process. Uh, if you want uh, to obtain uh, uh, the silver that you know which is shiny, uh, you can uh, melt it down uh, and then uh, put it uh, on a piece of wood in order to uh, let it cool down. Uh. So guys, for this experiment, the, the reaction is the following, where our metallic uh, uh, silver reacts with uh, nit nitric acid to produce an ion that is uh, uh, silver plus one. And uh, this silver plus one is the same one that precipitated when it reacts with copper. In fact, this is a redox reaction in which, as we know, uh, uh, silver is uh, a more noble gas and this is why it precipitates uh, during this reaction and uh, when this reaction happens we can gain this uh, silver metallic and this is in a powder form and in order to uh, obtain it uh, in a really crystal form we have to melt it with uh, our heating and after that we cool it down in order to get a stronger uh, composition of our silver
So as always, the experiment is over and you have to be really careful to the nitric acid and to nitrogen oxide because uh, it is really dangerous, just like nitric acid that is corrosive. So everyone, if you like this video, please let us know in the comments and if you want to see more amazing experiments like this, go to our page and subscribe to it. So for today's all, thanks for watching!